This presentation is for students hoping to enrol in the Certificate 3 and Certificate 4 Community Services courses. Course information. These qualifications reflect the role of community services workers who design and deliver person-centred services to individuals and groups. Workers may provide support, advocacy or interventions to individual clients, groups or communities across a range of areas. To be an effective community services worker, you need a combination of skills, attributes and qualities that enable you to provide support and assistance to individuals and communities in need. The course structure. For Certificate 4 in Community Services, the units are 15 units for competency. There are seven core units and eight elective units. The Certificate 3 Community Services course consists of 12 units of competency, five core units and seven elective units. For the Certificate 3 in Community Services, online learning using the Canvas learning platform will be at least 12 hours per week. In addition, two classes per week on Monday and Tuesday from 9.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. at our Devonport campus. The Certificate 3 course commences on Monday 22nd of July 2024 until Tuesday 26th of November 2024. A course timetable will also be provided to students at the beginning of your course. Assessments for this course are also due at regular intervals throughout the course. Course delivery for the Certificate 4. The online co learning component using Canvas is for at least six hours per week. Classes are two days a week on Tuesday and Thursday from 9.30 a.m. to 2.45 p.m. at our Burnie campus. The Certificate 4 course commences on Tuesday the 20th of August 2024. A course timetable will be provided to students at the beginning of your course. Assessments are due at regular intervals throughout the course. How you will learn. In addition to the face-to-face -face learning in-class environment, students will have access to textbook readings, selected videos and documentaries, blog posts and articles, websites for research, discussion posts and other learning activities as directed by your teacher. Assessment. Assessments are conducted for each cluster of units progressively throughout the course. Assessments consist of written questions, scenarios, and practical tasks, including role plays. Community projects also form part of some of the units. Course entry requirements. All applicants are required to undertake the online Basic Knowledge and Skills Builder BKSB assessment to confirm you have the required language, literacy, and numeracy skills to work at Australian Core Skills Framework, ACSF, Exit Level 3 or higher for Certificate 4 applicants and ACSF Core Skills Framework Exit Level 2 for Certificate 3 applicants. Account details and how to access the BKSB assessment instructions will be sent to you within 24 hours of applying by email. If you have previously undertaken the Literacy and Numeracy Assessment, we will review your results and notify you if further action is required. Credit transfers. Some students may be eligible for credit transfers from courses containing similar units and may be available to students. Please discuss this with your teacher on enrolment. Recognition of prior learning. Recognition of prior learning and skills, otherwise known as RPL, is available for these qualifications. Please discuss this with your teacher for further information. Fee-free TAFE. 
We are pleased to announce that these courses are part of the Fee-Free TAFE initiative in 2024. Fee-Free TAFE and Vocational Education is a joint initiative of the Australian and Tasmanian governments, providing tuition-free training places to people wanting to train, retrain or upskill. Your tuition fees are covered by the Fee-Free initiative. Depending on your course, they may, there may also be other expenses that you need to budget for. You can check other costs that may be associated with your course via our website on the Fees, Payments and Other Costs section on the course page. To find out more about Fee-Free TAFE and to check your eligibility, please visit our website. The application process. Applications for these courses will open on the 27th of May 2024 at 12 p.m. midday. Visit our website and go to the Apply and Enroll page and watch our Applying at TASTAFE presentation. After you have submitted your application, keep an eye on your emails as we will advise the outcome of your application via email or if we need further information from you. Student support. If you need assistance or support during your time at TAS TAFE, please don't hesitate to contact one of the student counsellors, disability liaison officers or Aboriginal support officers for help. We offer a range of student services including support with additional literacy and numeracy needs, study skills, advice about financial assistance that may be available, counselling, disability support services and career planning. You can call 1300 655 307 to make an appointment or visit the student support portal on the TASTAFE website. Thank you for joining me today. If you have more questions, please send them to Childhood Education and Community at tastafe.tas.edu.au or call toll free 1300 307. Please tell us when you call which region you are in so that we can direct your inquiry to the appropriate person. Thank you.